Let's first configure our working display units. Make sure you have 3ds Max or 3ds Max Design open. Your interface may not look exactly like mine. Again, it depends on which version of the software you're running and if you've been working in it or not. Don't worry about this. We're going to set up the interface so that we're all working with the same unit setup. The first thing we'll do is look at our units. If we check down here in this small window in the middle of the display status line, we'll see that the grid spacing is currently set to 10 units. Well, what are those units? Inches if you're using imperial units, or if you're using metric units, they may be millimeters or centimeters. Right now, they're just generic and could be anything. We want to make sure that we're consistent in our units. We're going to use the Customize pull-down menu. On the main menu, click Customize. In the drop-down menu, click Units Setup. We have two places we can set up units. There are the System Units and the Display Units. The display units are the only units we're concerned with right now. By default, when you start 3ds Max, it uses something called generic units. However, we're going to change these and use a different option, US Standard. If you're using 3ds Max Design, this option may already be selected. Go ahead and click on the radio button for US Standard and select Feet with Fractional Inches from the drop-down list. Then, we'll set the rounding to one-eighth of an inch. That's going to be fine for our requirements in these lessons. So we have U.S. Standard set to Feet with Fractional Inches with a rounding of one-eighth inch. This option is not something you will need to edit, but let me take a minute and show you the system unit setup. By default, the system units in the U.S. version are set to 1 unit equals 1 inch. This value represents the internal mathematical value that 3ds Max uses for measurement calculation. If you're using metric units, this option may be set for 1 unit equals 1 millimeter or 1 centimeter. We'll leave the system units alone because there's no need for us to change them at this point. And, as a general rule, you should not change these unless you absolutely need to change them. So go ahead and cancel out of the system units if you opened it up. Then, in the Unit Setup dialog, click OK. Now if we look at our grid spacing, it's set to 0 feet 10 inches. It's the same distance. However, now we're looking at that distance as displayed in U.S. Standard Units. 